Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all are staying safe and as well as possible. In today's video, I want to share with you all how to make some DIY Clorox disinfectant wipes and also some DIY hand sanitizer using items that you already have on hand. I'm also going to share with you guys how to make a fun and easy little keep calm and wash your hands sign to hopefully help yourselves and your family members to wash your hands. It's a super important right now to continue to wash your hands and keep your surfaces sanitized as well as practicing social distancing, staying six foot apart. If you all have to go out into public, cover your faces with a face mask or face covering and stay at home unless you all have to get out and work or pick up groceries or prescriptions. So I want you to know I love you. We're going to stay positive and stay safe and let's go ahead and jump into this video. To make these DIY bleach disinfectant wipes, I wanna go ahead and take a roll of paper towels in a seal tight container, and then I'm just measuring to the top of my container, and then I'm gonna take a serrated bread knife and cut the paper towel apart. The paper towel did fray on me just a little bit, so I just took some scissors and kind of trimmed that frayed edge off, and then I popped my paper towels down inside of my seal tight container. The next thing I did was go ahead and mix up my bleach solution. It's one cup water to about half a tablespoon of bleach. Don't ever mix anything else with your bleach except for your water. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up really well, and then I'm just gonna take my cup and and I'm gonna pour this all over my paper towel. So you just take your cup and you're gonna pour it all around your paper towel and it will continue to absorb as um, it sits in the container a little bit longer. This was so easy and such a great way to make some wipes when I know all the wipes are sold out in stores and I still want to keep my home nice and sanitized. I'm then going to pull the center part of that cardboard roll out of the paper towel and then pull out one of my little wipes and just go ahead and sanitize my space here. And I'm also even gonna sanitize my little container. I don't know if you guys are like me, but right now I'm just trying to keep everything nice and clean. I then took some of these Dollar Tree labels and I wanted to make sure that everybody in the household knew that they, these were bleach wipes because of course bleach can you know stain clothing or different things like that so you definitely want to label your little DIY bleach wipes but there you guys have it. To make my DIY hand sanitizer, I'm going to take and I'm going to mix up one third cup of the aloe vera gel. I also recommend grabbing a spatula because the aloe vera gel did kind of stick to my measuring spoon. And then I'm going to add two thirds cup of rubbing alcohol. I'm using the 90% rubbing alcohol and then I'm going to go ahead and just mix that together really well. Now in our home, we are out of the hand sanitizer and you can't find it anywhere in stores and my husband still has to go out and work some so I know this probably isn't the perfect measurement and it also does not replace washing your hands I recommend washing your hands for 20 seconds thoroughly and that is definitely the best option but if you have to go out and about you do want to have some sort of protection so I felt like this hand sanitizer would at least protect us a little bit I also added a couple of drops of some lemon essential oil just to give it a little bit of a nice fragrance. I then poured it back into my measuring cup and you see my spatula making sure we got everything out. I'm telling you guys I just make sure my husband leaves every day with a bottle of some hand sanitizer. I guess maybe it just makes me even feel a little bit better about him having to be out for his job. So then I'm going to take these little Dollar Tree bottles and I'm just going to go ahead and begin to fill them. Now this mixture filled up three of my little Dollar Tree Tree bottles. You can find these empty bottles at Dollar Tree. I filled up three of these little bottles and then also the little bottles that we were able to find, um, I think at some convenient marts before everything just completely sold out so quickly. So we were only able to get a little bit of hand sanitizer. Um, but again, it is just 
probably some peace of mind and a little bit of protection um, if you have to be out there. So I know a lot of you all may have some aloe vera gel in your cabinet um, from the summer and also some rubbing alcohol. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea. Now I wanna make a little um, station to set at the front of my door. So I created some DIY no sew face masks. I'm gonna link that video for you guys down below if you don't have a sewing machine. I created several different ideas for you guys using everything that you already have on hand. Um, I'm gonna put them into a bag they're nice and clean and sanitized. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these gloves and I'm gonna put them into a Ziploc bag. What I wanna do is just create a little bag and set it by the front door so when my husband leaves, he can grab a pair of gloves um, and a face mask or a face covering. And also the bleach wipes are great to use to wipe the bottom of your shoes and then some hand sanitizer. So this, I'm gonna label everything, that way everybody knows what's in what and where everything goes. Um, also, I make sure to wash my mask or face coverings and sanitize those before they go back into the bag. And we also need to have gloves on as we're handling everything. This is just hopefully helping us stay the maximum healthy if we do and protected if we do have to go out and about. So I hope this helps you guys and gives you guys some positive ideas to stay clean and stay healthy. Now for the next DIY, I wanna take this Dollar Tree mirrored frame. It has just a little scrolly mirror in it. And I already had this on hand. I bought several months ago. And then I found this Keep Calm and Wash Your Hands. It's a little cute farmhouse sign. I want to put this up next to my kitchen sink just as a reminder for me and my kiddos, which I constantly am washing my hands, but you know, we all need this great reminder. Keep calm, number one, that's such a great reminder. And number two, wash your hands. So make sure that you're washing your hands for 20 seconds thoroughly with soap and that will also help prevent the spread of this virus. So I thought this cute little sign would be fun, especially if you guys have little ones or just somebody in your home that needs that helpful hint or reminder. And honestly, sometimes I need to remember to keep calm and wash my hands, <laughs> even though I'm really pretty good about washing my hands, to be honest with you. But I thought this fun little reminder would be great. Now, because I'm using this mirrored frame and I'm not using the frame with the mirror part on it and I do want to set this by my sink I realized that I needed to have some kind of protective covering over this once I popped it back into my frame super cute but then I realized again that I need to cover this so I whipped out my Mod Podge and I just decided to go ahead and add a layer of Mod Podge this is the um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge and so this will give a nice little protection um, in case any water splashes up on this and it is going to sit in my window seal next to my kitchen sink um, again for that helpful reminder so comment and let me know what you guys are doing to help remind yourselves and your family members to stay safe and wash their hands do you have any cute little signs any ideas for me i would love to know since we're all at home trying to be safe and remembering to wash our hands For the next DIY, I want to share with you all how to put together a little DIY sanity basket. <laughs> so for mine, I'm going to pop in these prayer cards. I picked them up at the Dollar Tree a couple of months ago, and I've been trying to share prayers and prayer cards with you all on my social media accounts. It just helps me refocus and recenter. I also am going to pop in this Fear is Not the Boss of You. It's a book by Jennifer Allwood. I actually have not read it yet. My husband just surprised it, um, me with it today. He ordered it from her a couple of months ago but he used to work with her husband and she's super great motivational and a great Christian lady I'm also gonna pop in this journal I found that at Dollar Tree as well and this pencil I really encourage you all to do your best to find some things that help you kind of calm down um, and unwind with all of the things that are going on it can be an uncertain feeling to not know everything that's gonna be happening in the future I know I've had my ups and downs as I'm sure all of you all have so I encourage make yourself a little sanity basket um, whether it be stationary to write a loved one or some books or prayer cards or a Bible or whatever helps you get through these days and just get that little piece of sanity of course I had to pop some roses next to it and add a cute little bow
For the next DIY, I wanna create a cute little box trash can for the car. So I'm just gonna take this box and I just folded the edges down. You could also trim them off. And I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree contact paper. I purchased it a couple of months ago, but use whatever paper you have on hand. And I'm just going to run it in and along the box to see about the size of the box. If you wanna be really precise, you could measure it, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it and going for it and then I'm going to go ahead and trim it down one end and then measure it to the size of the box and trim it down the other end. Now the purpose for this box again is going to be for my husband's car. Um, I want him to have a safe spot for him to dispose his gloves into. Um, this might be a great idea if you have to be out and about um, to get groceries and have gloves and you don't see a waste basket and you need somewhere safe to put your gloves. Um, so hopefully this gives you guys an idea. And it's also not a bad idea just to have a little trash can in your car. So this is like just a little car trash can. Um, or you could make a little waste basket with a box really for any space in your home to be totally honest with you. So whatever you guys need a cute box for, here you have it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the contact paper and just run it gently down the side of the box. And that's going to easily fit onto this little box. Now that I have my bags finished and covered, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this Walmart bag into the center of the box and just drape it over the edges. This is gonna be a great place for used gloves to go. I wanna label it used gloves, that way everybody knows we're just gonna put used gloves inside of this box. The proper way to remove your gloves is to pinch right at the wrist and just go ahead and begin to pull your glove down and then inside it out as you remove it and then safely pop it into the plastic bag. To remove the next glove, you can just kind of gently put your finger underneath the glove and again, inside it out. Do not touch the outside of it and then pop it into your plastic bag. That way you can remove your gloves safely. You don't have to leave them anywhere besides inside of um, your little bag here. So hopefully that helps. Now, another great idea for sanitizing a surface, if you don't have bleach on hand, if you have alcohol in your cupboard, you can go ahead and pop um, a little spray nozzle on top of your alcohol and just clean straight with your alcohol. The other thing the CDC recommends is cleaning with 3% hydrogen peroxide. That also will kill the virus. I hope that helps y'all. So thank you all so much for joining me in another DIY video. I hope it gives you all some useful and helpful tips on how to stay safe as we go through this unprecedented time. I definitely recommend you all going to the CDC website to check out some of the different ideas that they have. They have so much useful information. I'm going to leave the link for the CDC website, which is the Center for Disease Control website, down below in my description box. Definitely go check that out. I want to remind you all to stay positive. Keep Keep looking forward to the future with joy. Um, we are going to get through this all together. I also would love to encourage you all to connect socially. I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page if you guys want to join that. So many friendly folks over there sharing pictures of their home decor, their crafting projects, how they're staying safe and sane through this time as well. It's totally free to join. Request to join. I'll approve your request and you guys can post those photos and ideas that you all have over there. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. I'm a total morning person. I say good morning to you all every morning with a cup of coffee. I try to bring as much joy and positivity to everybody as I possibly can. I wanna thank you all for all of your sweet messages and comments encouraging me to keep going, making videos, and staying positive as well. Your kind love and support is just so felt and it's so needed at this time. And you're even blessing other people by the kind comments you're making. 
So do your best to keep yourselves positive and leave wonderful comments because it just blesses me and it blesses others. I want to thank you all for being here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. I just love to share with you guys a ton of budget-friendly ideas and tips and tricks. Thank you guys for being here. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I can't wait for the next video. Until then, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.